Explorer Steve is still prepping for his upcoming trip. Stay tuned. Explorer Steve. How's it going people? Explorer Steve here coming to you live from the Van Cave. I am just tying up some loose ends uh, before the trip that's coming up within the next week or two. And there's just a few things I had to do. One of the things, speaking of tying up loose ends, was my electric cord. Here is my 30 amp hookup cord. And there's a problem with the plug-in as you can see. Seems like dryness got to it a little bit and it shrunk away from the plug. And the plug's not in that good a condition either. So I decided to go ahead and just replace it with this Leviton 30 amp replacement plug. And it comes with this really sturdy enclosure for it. It's made out of ABS plastic. It's got a springed hinge. It opens up like a Star Trek communication device. And it also comes with a small bag of hardware that you have to hook the wires up to before installing them and snapping the case shut. The first order of business is removing the plug, so I cut that off and discarded it. And after that, I have to cut away some of the insulation to leave me some more wire with which to work. And then after that, of course, I just strip the insulation off the bare wires and give them each a twist. And from there, I just hook each corresponding wire up to the correct prong of the plug just to make sure everything's hooked up properly and place the hardware on like this before assembling it into the box. The box is fail safe so it will not close unless it's been assembled properly and I'm happy with the way that it looks and the quality. Well this year in 2016, I, it was like the first time in a long time that I've spent my income tax return on me or on goodies. In the past, I've always taken that income tax return check and I put it either in a retirement account or in my kids' college education fund. But being that all that stuff is out of the way, here in 2016 is the first time I got to actually spend it on something. So my landscaping is pretty sparse. Uh, for my home you know it's mostly desert landscaping a lot of rock a lot of desert type plants but I had a little patch of grass out front you know kind of like a kidney shaped one of those weird shaped patches of grass and I always felt guilty you know every time the landscapers had to go out there and mow that little patch of grass and edge it and blow it off with a blower so I took and I it never looks good for the whole year you know here in the summertime it gets up over 100 degrees that burns your lawn out so just for a couple months of the year it looks good so i replaced it with artificial turf and it looks fantastic if you live in a place where you can get artificial turf i highly recommend it it's maintenance free and it's got a 15 year warranty best move i ever made and another thing is for fun so i decided to get myself a youtube toy and here it is here I am unboxing my income tax return toy and this is what it is. It's the Feiyu G4 3-axis gimbal. You see a lot of YouTubers use this and I like the smooth video that it provides. It gives it a really cinematic look to it which I think I'm going to like for some of the outdoor shots on this trip. So the artificial turf along with the gimbal and the drone that I purchased a couple months ago pretty much kills the, the last of my income tax return, but I'm happy with everything I got. Also, Colorado 4x4 van came into town, so I decided to go out and meet him for lunch and his family. Great guy. Look who I found, everybody. It's Colorado 4x4 van. Van Hello. or camper van? Hello. 4x4 van. Colorado 4x4 van. Colorado 4x4 van, and we just had some dinner here at a Mexican restaurant called Benito Michoacan. It was great. I met his lovely wife and his highly intelligent son. Both his wife and his son are intelligent. <laughs> now, if you put me and him together, right. we probably wouldn't have a whole brain. Say hello to Explorer Steve uh, subscribers. Hello. Now, being that I'm gonna be in a really small space like the Explorer, I felt that I should organize. So I got some equipment cases for my camera gear so I can always know where it's at and everything will have a place. To find an organizer, I went to my favorite store, Harbor Freight, and went to the case department. I found just the ticket in this small aluminum case. I was looking for something that was at least 11 inches wide and 4 inches deep. 
I was also looking for a little compartment case to put all of the GoPro doodads in and I think this one will work, this smaller one. When I got the items home I went and I transferred the foam insert that the gimbal came in into the hard case and it's very protective so I like it and that's where I'm going to store my gimbal and mounted GoPro into. There's a bunch of accessories that I could also fit in there that I use most and I did that. Organization feels good and I'm happy with this. Now next for the compartment case I just have little doodads for the GoPro that I wanted to store inside of here and that's basically what I did. All the little cords, microphones, extra batteries, and some of the mounts that they have. They have numerous mounts for GoPro, for bicycles, for your helmet, uh, ones that you can stick, suction cups, things like that, as well as batteries for some of the other cameras that I have. This was a really handy case. I like it because all of my equipment can be in one place instead of stuck in some soft case bag that you know, I can never find what I'm looking for. This makes it really easy. I like it. Well, that's pretty much it for this video, people. Uh, I'm probably gonna do one more before I finally leave in about a week, two weeks or so. Uh, one more for the last of the preps, and I'll be on my way. We'll see you around.